Hello and welcome to my channel. Uh, today we're going to be going over uh, the T54E2, which is a new addition, uh, which will be coming in the next update for uh, War Thunder, which we call Kings of Battle. Uh, I'm here on the dev server, uh, checking out a few vehicles, and this is going to be added for the US tree uh, as a premium. Uh, as you can see, uh, it'll be, it's at least currently planned to be 7.7. Uh, uh, of course, I can change, uh, and it is rank 5. Uh, I doubt that will change. It has a base reloading rate of uh, 6.5 seconds. Uh, you do have your loader and commander uh, and gun over here and driver. So unlike the T-54E1, which has an oscillating turret, it does have a very similar overall turret design, but uh, this one is uh, your standard turret, not so it's not oscillating. And this one doesn't. This one has a manual loader instead of an auto loader. However, I believe it. It does have the same uh, ammunition. I believe. Uh, so of course you have the uh, APDS and the Heat FS, which your APDS is going to be better in um, everything except for extremely high angles. Uh, so as you can see, you have over 430 millimeters of penetration, uh, at least at 10 meters uh, flat. So this is, yeah, it's the same, uh, yeah, it's the same gun, I believe, as the uh, T-54E1, which is 8.0 in, um, yeah, in realistic. Um, so this will be just below, uh, as it doesn't have, as the only thing it really lacks is the autoloader so it's uh and that's just the base reload so you should be able to get a bit faster than 6.5 so this would probably be a pretty good thing to pick up i'm kind of glad they didn't put it behind the t54e1 kind of like they had they used to have i can't remember what it was i think they used to have the calliope behind the m26 t99 or something like that i can't remember exactly um but they did remove that, and there's still a few that are like that, but it's not very common. Like, I believe, um, yeah, the F89D is behind the F89B, but I'm kind of glad they didn't do that here, so you can pick up one or the other. Uh, I might pick this up at some point, um, but uh, it is an interesting vehicle, I guess. Um, it's pretty much just an E1 with you know, not an oscillating turret and doesn't have the auto loader. So, you know, I can take it out here in a test drive. Uh, yeah, just take all this. Um, so the slightly lower BR, you, you know, you can bring it down to 7.7. It's not, you know, it's not like it's a full BR away. And I'm sure you'll still be able to play it together if you want. Uh, you'll never really want to use this um, normal solid shot. You just want to use like the APDS and then maybe a few heat FS you'll want to bring just uh, for lighter targets that you want to get. See, like you can't really do anything like that. However, this will be able to go right through the front. There you go. And you got a one shot. Um, see what I'm of course, um, if you look at the Shulk over here. Uh, we can shoot it with the APDS, and I did hit the ammunition there, but many vehicles, uh, especially, like, uh, other SPAs that are more spaced out on, especially open top ones, you'll want to maybe use some heat FS for that. So if I could shoot here. Um, so I would say that if this if you unless you really want to grab this I would wait till it's on sale so this does look to be a pretty decent vehicle um, and I'll go just go back to the hangar now but I would wait till it's on sale which probably won't be till sometime next year so unless you uh, so you can pick it up but it's gonna be you know you know 8380 which I'm just short of that but if, uh, and try and see that for some other things. But so little, I mean, you're gonna be spending about fifty bucks uh, to get this. You don't have a little bit of GE left over, 
uh, they can use for whatever. But it's pretty much just another T fifty four without an auto loader. It's, it's almost the exact same thing. Uh, I'm honestly kind of support. Well, to be fair, I do think that the T fifty four E one should go down to seven point seven. But I'm kind of surprised they didn't uh, put it with the same VR. Um, it you know has a decent speed. It's not too fast, not too slow. Its armor is all right. It's definitely not a heavy tank. But this is something I'll probably play. Uh, I plan on picking up eventually. If you want to, that's great. Uh, personally, if I were you, I would wait till a sale to pick it up. I don't want to you know pay the full nearly fifty dollars for this. As interesting and as cool as it is, as nice an addition it would be to my 7.7 .7 lineup, it's just not something that, you know, I would like to be spending $50 on. At least, you know, the average person probably wouldn't. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and uh, please check out my other videos, and like and subscribe.